Hi, I'm attorney Ryan Irvin, founder and managing attorney with the law offices of Ryan Irvin, and I just exposed my business on BizLinks TV Network. Learn more about how we work with your personal injury and juvenile matter to ensure you get the successful outcome you deserve. Coming up on my episode of That's My Biz on BizLinks TV. Okay, so and I know it's it's such a challenge right now with with youth youth today. I mean, the just even the the school graduation numbers have just gone down and dwindled so much, and there's so many challenges. What are some of the primary challenges that you're finding uh, with youth and the youth that you have to represent? You know, I think one of the biggest challenges is communication, right? Okay. I think our communication barriers are not what they used to be. Communication between family, mm-hmm. communication between their school teachers. It's, And I don't know if it plays on, on social media and mm-hmm. the Internet and mm-hmm. that we're maybe mm-hmm. not having those dinner time yeah. conversations that yeah. we used to. Um, but a lot of the issues that I find, the root source of it is, is that you don't have someone to mm-hmm. talk to. Mm-hmm. You don't have a mentor. You don't feel like you can mm-hmm. go to your parents. Okay. Um, and so you're faced with these issues. You see these things on the news. You hear about these things going on in your school. And you need an outlet to communicate those things and get some advice from someone who's a little bit more senior. Okay. So in my representation of juveniles, I'm always encouraging them, find you someone that you can talk okay. to. Um, because a lot of times if you're on the verge of making a bad decision and you're just running mm-hmm. by someone mm-hmm. else, whether it's a school counselor or a school teacher, mm-hmm. they're going to push you in that direction okay. that you need to go. Okay. So what's what's kind of the age range that when you're talking about the juveniles um, that you end up representing? Juveniles that I'm representing, they can range from from all ages, but I've seen a primary focus on middle school and high school students. Um, What I think a lot of people don't realize are things that maybe when we were in school you would Mm -hmm. just get a suspension for are now criminal acts in the school system. Fighting in school is considered to be battery and assault. Mm. It's a criminal charge. Um, And so I'll see a lot of high school and middle school students who battle with those issues, and and that's where a lot of my representation comes from, Mm -hmm. are those students who make bad decisions in school or poor decision at home, and we just need to guide them through the legal system on that process. Okay. What are um, some of the suggestions that you may have for uh, the community and or for teachers and parents in helping uh, maybe the kids avoid some of the experiences that they're having now? Sure. Uh, my suggestion would be to open the door. Okay. Open the door for them to, to speak to you, to okay. talk to you. I think, you know, we see young men walking and they might be sagging their pants. Mm-hmm. They might not be dressed the way we want them to mm-hmm. dress. And so our immediate reaction as adults is, I don't know if that kid is a troublemaker. Okay. Um, but if you open up that door and say, hey, you know, talk hmm. to me about what's going on. Talk to me about what you have going on in your life. Then it, it gives that communication um, opportunity there. And I think it relieves a lot of the problems. I think, you know, when the kids feel welcome, when they feel like mm-hmm. they're being praised for what they're okay. doing and not constantly, you know, look down on yeah. it, makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's my encouragement, whether it be in community involvement or with right. the school, wherever, just to, to be available right. to, the, to the students. Yeah.